God is in the little things. Messages from the animals is a story of hope, healing, and our connection and oneness to each other and all beings. It was written by Patricia Books, who is an interfaith seminary student and angel healing practitioner. Welcome to the show, Patricia. Nice to have you here. Um, so the book sounds very interesting in itself. Why don't you give us a, a brief overview, if you would? Sure. The book is my honest, emotional, and spiritual journey. Um, taking me from sadness and loss to actually finding true joy through understanding my spiritual self. Mm -hmm. And it's divinely written and it's told through the visits of animals acting as animal totems and the messages that God had for me. Sure. Um, now, you're not really an author by trade. Right. How did this happen? No, actually, up until this past spring, I was a computer science high school teacher. But this past February, I received two very direct spiritual communications, I believe, from God, mm -hmm. not only telling me chapter by chapter what to write in the book, but also giving me the book title. Wow. So that would, would you say is your inspiration behind this? Absolutely. Okay. I believe I'm, I truly believe I'm just the messenger. And now, um, in what ways do you think people can relate to the book? People are relating um, quite a bit to my book. They're relating on many different levels. Some people are relating to my personal, you know, human struggles. You know, I'm very honest with my emotional pain that I went through. It talks about the breakdown of my marriage, divorce, you know, kind of emotional aftermath, and sure. I call my recovery. And that's really resonating with people. But also, it also resonates with many people who are either on their spiritual path or just starting their spiritual journey. Um, I really believe that you know, we feel a real dislocation to spirit, many of us, and we're yearning for that deeper connection to, to ourselves, to each other, and to nature and the animals. Um, you mentioned in the book animal totems and, and right. spirit animals. Let's yes. talk about that because it, it's a really interesting concept. Right, right. Well, animal totems are simply our animal friends. Uh -huh. And the belief is that animals energetically communicate with us, either through their own spirit or through God communicating through the animals. Uh, and this isn't anything new. I mean, this has been around since ancient times. Cultures have known for centuries um, and have looked to animals for wisdom and guidance. Um, Patricia, let me ask you then, how would you know if an animal is kind of acting like a totem or right. trying to give you a message? Right. That's a great question because it's not just every animal you see. It's sure. not just a random animal. The animal will present itself to you either very uniquely in a way that's out of character for the animal or in a very repetitive way. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you know, once you notice, then you can, you intuitively know. We really know. We really have all the answers and we would know whether or not the animal had a message for us. Wow. Now, do you think they're they could be delivering messages from, from people that might have passed, or where are these messages coming from? Well, the messages to me, I believe, were, were coming from God. I believe it was God's way of communicating with me. Um, we're divine beings. I believe we're divine beings, and so we're open to receiving divine communication in whatever way we're, we're open to. And, and the animals is one way that God communicates with me. Sure. Um, but animals are also looked at by many people as being symbolic or coming from people who have passed on. Well, let's go through some of the symbolisms of these specific animals. We'll start with dogs. Okay, right. Well, it's really important when you're studying animal symbolism that you're studying the behaviors and the characteristics of the animals because that's they're symbolic of their message. Mm -hmm. um, so, and if you're really looking into animal symbolism to, you know, really study and then reflect on your own, but we can talk, you know, some general brief sure. ideas. So a dog is known for its faithfulness, its loyalty, its loyalty to the pack. When a dog joins your family, it kind of joins your pack. So the message from a dog, if a dog presents itself to you in a very unique or repetitive way, is one of companionship and loyalty. Mm -hmm. And you can ask yourself questions, you know, am I being loyal to myself? Am I being loyal to others? Could I be a better companion? I guess um, you just have to look a little deeper though, right? I mean, absolutely. that's interesting. Absolutely. All right, um, butterflies. Butterflies. Butterflies are symbolic of freedom, you know, the flitting of the butterfly, but they're also symbolic of an evolution. You know, if you think of the butterfly going from the caterpillar into the beautiful butterfly. Interesting. And then what if you see a bat? Why would I think this would be negative? Bats. Bats are bats sometimes are very are thought of in a negative way because we're very fearful of bats, or I'm very fearful of bats. Sure. Actually, in my book, the bat was the animal that presented itself most persistently to me. Um, but a bat is a symbol of rebirth, or a promise after change. Oh. And the reason is because bats are reborn from the caves each night, and they're also, the fruit bats are actually great propagators of new plants and new growth. And just as bats can be very scary, change can be scary. Sure but the, the promise of rebirth after the change is worth it. I like that one. All right, uh, how about an owl? 
an owl. An owl is actually my life totem or my power animal. Really? Animals can present themselves to you in two ways. They can be a message animal or message totem, or they can be a power animal, which is symbolic of your true nature. So the owl is actually on the cover of my book, uh, is symbolic of me. And the owl is, is um, a great totem. They're very adept predators, and they have very keen powers of observation. Their eyesight and their hearing is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, and they fly at night. So an owl is symbolic of a clairaudient or clairvoyant nature, someone who can kind of see what's really kind of happening behind the scenes. Sure. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to be more observant now. Absolutely. Right? Uh, where can we find your book, Patricia? Uh, you can find my book. Um, any of the major online retailers are carrying it, or if if your viewers would like to visit my website, mm -hmm. godisinthelittlethings.com, I also have links to order. We'll check it out there. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. Thank you. And we'll have uh, information over at WTNH.com. Just click on style and stay with us. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back.